Hey there, and thanks for tuning into this video. In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through how to use WP Legal Pages. It's so simple, I'll probably get this thing completely installed and set up in less than three minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. I have the plugin installed, but I don't have it activated. Super simple to upload, use uh, WordPress's built in feature, or you can just drag and drop it using FTP. So I've got it here. Let's go ahead and activate it. After I've activated it, you're going to see new options down here in the lower left hand side of the menu. Legal Pages, Create Page. Let's click on Legal Pages. And this is going to be where I populate all of my information. Okay, now this is pre formatted with this because I was just using this in another demo video. Let's go ahead and retype all this out, shall we? So I'm going to put in my, my .com or my domain name, if I could spell it right. All right, then let's type in Gilmore Marketing. All right, my address, 104 Largo, Florida, 33779. All right, United States. And the support email. Yep, didn't spell that right. Thought so. All right, let's pop an R in there. And you see I'm getting misspells and everything. And I think we're still going to hit below uh, three minutes there. 104, there we go. Largo, Florida. All right, cool. So all my settings are now set. Get additional short codes here, but these are already plugged in throughout the legal forms. But if you want to add these additionally, just really quick, you can pop these short codes into the pages. All right, so let's click on save. You see here settings saved. Now let's click and create a page. The templates are pre-built in, as you can see here. One, two, three, four currently. That's terms, privacy, earnings disclaimer, and regular disclaimer. You can change the title of the page. You can change any of the content or text on the page. You see the short codes here? That coincides with the setting that I just set two seconds ago in that other page. So when I've got it changed to what I want, I add hyperlinks or any of these other things, I go ahead and click on publish. It says here, successfully published. So let's view that really quickly. That is on our just stocked uh, WordPress theme here. Here it is. Here's the disclaimer. Let's scroll all the way to the bottom, or excuse me, the, the uh, terms. And you'll see my address information, there's the email address, and all other short codes that are plugged in throughout the page will now appear for the short code. All right, so we created one page. Let's go through privacy. Same way, you want to rename the page, rename it here, change any content on the site. Go ahead and do so, then click on publish. You'll see it was successfully created just like the others, so let's click on earnings disclaimer. Change anything you need and click publish. And lastly, for the regular disclaimer, let's click there, make your changes, and click on publish. Okay, while that's saving, let's come back here and refresh this page. You see only two pages. Let me refresh. It'll naturally show the rest of the pages in the, um, in the top menu option here. But you can click on these and check out those pages as well with all the short code options now plugged in. Okay, so I hope this is changed. Uh, Saved. There it is. Okay, cool. So now we've gone through all the pages and we've gone through how to edit them and we've officially added them. Let's go back to pages now and you're going to see something cool. All the pages are now showing up here. Let's say we wanted to re-edit them. We can do so. There's also a really cool feature here which is include this page in a list of pages. What does that mean? That allows you to include or exclude these pages out of your menus. Now if you're using a premium theme or a theme that provides you with access to creating custom menus, well then you're all set. But for those of you who are using maybe a free theme or jobs or client pages that are using free themes or those that do not support custom menus, that's your option to get rid of it out of that top header menu that you see here that you want only certain links to appear on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. I think we hit our deadline or our goal of under three minutes. Continue to scroll down this page and check out the rest of the goodies that I've incorporated into this and um, act now. We'll see you on the other side.